In early 2014, Walter Reed came to me and said, we want to start an undergrad program with you. So we began the process. We had more students wanting to go to D.C. than we had places to go. My freshman year, I remember people that were spokespeople for the D.C. program came to talk to our freshman seminar class. So I had always heard about the master's program, of course. Uh, when I heard about them doing one for undergraduates, I just jumped at the chance to go ahead and, and, and do it. I thought it was a great idea to take undergrads to D.C. If we could do it in a way that it would be a safe environment and a structured enough environment for them to be successful. I particularly worked in nephrology and transplant and then I switched over to cardiothoracic surgery and neurosurgery. I worked at Iona Senior Services in the Art and Wellness Center, which is a day center for individuals with different forms of dementia and Alzheimer's. I worked in the mother-infant care unit. Not only did I have a professional experience, I also had a a lot of cultural experiences that I never would have had had I not gone to D.C. Social work is social work whether you're in Alabama or whether you're in D.C. What you get in D.C. is you not only get that level of policy and advocacy, but you also get the experience of being in D.C. And so they get to learn not only how to affect policy on their agency level or the state level, but also on a national level. As I got further along in my social work education, I became interested a lot in policy. And I thought, you know, why not go to D.C., which is the center of, of policy in the country. Prior to coming to D.C., I feel like my classes in social work definitely prepared me for a professional job and a professional experience. But then it was more just about getting in there and getting your feet wet and really just working with patients and learning what works and what doesn't work. What they realized through the program is that they could take their lives and do so many different things with it. I was really scared at first because I really wasn't sure what my skill set was, but all the way you learn is by doing it and you refine those skills and just enjoy the moment. But I think it's really great preparation for that, for that time that's coming in your life when you get into the, um, the workforce because it's definitely a transition from school, but it's a, it's a pretty, it can be a smooth transition if you you know, take time to pay attention and willing to learn and make mistakes. Not only just the professional aspect, but personally I learned that I can adapt to a lot of different situations even when I'm not comfortable. Life is never going to be what you picture it to be. And I think if you go in with no expectations, but just say, I'm going to open myself up to every experience that's given to me, then it'll be one of the best experiences that you'll ever have.